This is the Fozzy Audio P3. Is it the perfect partner for the Fozzy Audio V3? I don't know. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this tube preamp that's in the same family as the new Fozzy Audio V3. If you are interested in getting the Fozzy Audio P3, they're doing a 15% off coupon. That will be in the description. They're also giving away 10 of these. The only thing you have to do is follow the Fozzy Audio Facebook page, which I will link in the bottom of the video or the description of the video, and join the Fozzy Audio Facebook group, which I will also link in the video. But you may want to stick around to the end to hear my final thoughts. The Fozzy Audio V3, if you remember, kind of came on the scene and raised the bar a little bit for affordable Chinese Class D amplifiers. This has a Texas Instruments 3255 amp chip set, but it also has some very good capacitors, some very good audiophile parts, and it still comes in at a very affordable $80. And it sometimes goes on sale too. Very simple device. You have volume control right here, analog inputs, speaker outputs, power right here, and then an aux out. The other cool thing about this product is you can use a higher voltage power supply on it thus getting more power out of your Fozzy Audio V3. And anecdotally, one of my patrons runs a pair of, I think it's Von Swiger, very expensive speakers off of this tiny little amp. Now he didn't set out to do that. He had an amp that actually died, so he ordered the Fozzy Audio V3 in lieu of buying another more expensive amplifier, I think until he can get his other amplifier fixed. The takeaway is the Fozzy Audio V3 is capable of running very expensive speakers and doing it fairly well. The problem with the V3, in my opinion, and this might not be a problem for most people, the problem with the V3 is the lack of bass oomph on the bottom. Still sounds awesome. But for me personally, I like a little bit more slap in the face, whipped cream on my pie, a little bit more butter on my pancakes. That's why I was very excited. And the P3 came out mostly because it has tone controls. So let's take a closer look at the P3. On the front of the Fozzy Audio P3, it's fairly straightforward. On the left, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. To the right of that, you have treble tone controls, which does have a middle D10. So you have some reference of where flat is. Right next to that, you have the volume knob, which has a longer throw pot, which means you will have to turn this up to get the volume out of this that you probably want. But it doesn't mean that it's broken. It just means that the volume pot is a longer throw, so you'll get more precise volume control, or so they say on their description. To the right of that, you have the bass control, which has exactly the same middle detent as the treble control. And then to the right of that, you have a good old fashioned toggle switch on the bottom is off. The middle is Bluetooth, on the top is RCA. What's on the back? On the back, it's almost as straightforward as on the front. On the left, you have RCA in, so you can put your DAC on here, you can put your phono stage on here, you can put whatever you like that has an RCA output onto the P3 from Fozzy Audio. And then to the right of that, you have the RCA output so for example if you were running a DAC in here you'd go DAC into the RCA input and then RCA output to the Fozzy Audio V3 so you take this RCA and then you'd go into here I know if you've been watching this channel for a long time this is probably old hat to you but if you're new in the hobby sometimes it does get a little confusing to the right of the RCA out you have an auxiliary output for something like a subwoofer Above that, you have a Bluetooth antenna. To the right of that, you have a 12 volt power receptacle. The power supply that comes with it is a 12 volt, 1500 milliamp power supply. Let's talk about the tubes. Actually comes with GE5654 tubes, but you can replace those with seven pin 
6K4, 6J1, 6J4, 6AK5 tubes. I think there's a variety of other tubes that will work. This is the very common tube that comes in pretty much all of the Chinese pre-amplifiers, headphone amplifiers, ad infinitum. Their listing on Amazon says it will put out 250 milliwatts at 16 ohms. Oh, ohms, ohms. 150 milliwatts at 32 ohms. 32 milliwatts at 250 ohms and 20 milliwatts at 300 ohms. So this is far from a powerhouse when it comes to a headphone amplifier. And I think if anything, the 3.5 millimeter headphone output is there for convenience sake only because it is not probably gonna provide enough power to get the most out of most headphones. So what are my final thoughts? Final thoughts. Well, I like the form factor. I like the fact that it goes seamlessly with the V3. Pretty much the exact same footprint. But there's nothing new here. Does it sound good? Yes, but what are you hearing? Every time you change the tubes out, it's going to sound different. With the stock GE tubes, it sounds good. But I almost wish it didn't even have tubes. I wish it just had tone controls. Actually, I wish it just had tone controls and then had two analog two one two three i wish i had three analog inputs that you could toggle from and i don't need bluetooth i get it though some people might want bluetooth so keep the bluetooth and then put two analog inputs on this three would be ideal because when you only have one analog input so here's the deal you have one analog input and then you kind of have a underpowered headphone amplifier and i think it's only the tubes that are amplified i could be wrong if i'm wrong put it in the comments but i think since it is such a low powered headphone amplifier i think it's just the tubes doing the amplification which is pretty cool that is pretty cool because what you have here is a true tube buffer if that's the case but there's nothing new here you get Bluetooth, you get one analog input, and then that's it. If it had two analog inputs, then you could run a DAC into one of those analog inputs, and then you could run a phono preamp into the other analog input. Frankly, Fozzy Audio could come out with a higher end phono preamp in the same form factor as the P3 and the V3. They could call it the PA3, and then you'd have a really cool stack, but the problem is you would need two analog inputs on the preamp. I think it's good that we're getting better quality. As far as sonics, when I used the tone controls with the Fozzy Audio V3, I didn't notice any huge type of distortion. I still maintained, I still heard that same clarity from the V3 as I heard before. So that's a good thing. But outside of a desktop solution, I don't know how you're going to operate this because you're still gonna have to put something going into this, maybe a DAC with volume control to actually control the volume if you're not sitting right here on a desktop. So I wish it had some type of remote control, volume control. Motorized pot, I know this is asking for a lot, but for my use case, I would probably skip this and try to find a DAC that has volume control so I can use this in a larger room. I think it's good. I think it's better quality than stuff from Duke Audio or IEMA, but there's nothing particularly new here. It's a good product. And if you're in a desktop situation and you don't need a ton of power for some headphones, then I could see why someone would be interested in this. And at $80, it's a pretty good deal. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash Chief Audio Man every Sunday night. We have Patreon-only Zooms, Patreon-only Discord, Patreon-only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description. This will be an affiliate link, which means if you click and you buy, I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can sign up for Amazon Music, Room, Tidal, all that good stuff. Those are affiliate links too. You can also buy me a cup of coffee down at the bottom of the video. There's a thanks button. Click on it, put a little money in the tip jar, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu, maybe get yourself a Fozzy Audio P3 and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.